。のまだ時間的な問題もありますから。とご中止の問題とオリンピックとすぐ短絡させなくてもですね。えー、状況を見極めていきたいと思っております。現実的な問題も、これも今日的重要な課題ですから、こういうことにも配慮しながら、最終的な判断を下していかなくてはならないと思って、えー、緊張しているところであります。今回の引き上げでは、日本への渡航回避が勧告されてはいるものの、必要な場合の渡航まで禁止されているものではないと承知をしております。アメリカのオリンピック委員会においても、米国代表の出場に影響はないという声明をお出しになられているということでございますので、私どもも、影響が特に何か今のところ見込まれるということは、We are entering the final lap ahead of these postponed Olympic Games. Just like the athletes who are preparing for these Games with so much concentration and focus, we are also getting ready for this final sprint. In this final stretch, our top priority continues to remain on organizing safe. And secure Olympic Games for everyone, the athletes and all participants, as well as our gracious hosts, the Japanese people. This is why, together with all our Japanese partners and friends, we have put in place comprehensive COVID 19 countermeasures to ensure that the athletes of the world can come together. In a safe environment for everyone. Over 70% of the athletes and officials have already been vaccinated or will be vaccinated before the Games. This number will even continue to grow as we approach the Games with the many new and ongoing efforts in this regard, including offers. From three different vaccine producers to the IOC for Olympic participants. We can only encourage all of you to continue these efforts because vaccination is not only about protecting yourselves and protecting your athletes, it's also a demonstration of respect and solidarity with our Japanese hosts. One thing is clear the post coronavirus world will need sport and its values. The important role of sport in society is acknowledged in the meantime by the international community, from the United Nations to the World Health Organization, the EU, and many more. Numerous studies confirm. The contribution of sport to promote physical and mental health, education, social inclusion, gender equality, and many more. 